Hi YouTubers, um, I just moved uh, to a different home, so I have to move all these tanks. I have three tanks total. I have a 180 um, Central South American cichlid. I have a 100 gallon African cichlid tank, and I have a 75 gallon sump. Um, and I have right around 100. I actually have 105 fish total. I have 31 in this one, and I have 74 in this one, and I have like 5 in this one. And I just found uh, lots of babies that I didn't know where they came from. But um, somehow they managed to bypass all my filtration system, and there's a couple of babies down here. I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're down here. Um, and they're African, so they had to come out of this tank. This tank has babies all the time. Um, they make good food for them, I guess. I don't really care about keeping the babies, because I have a lot to begin with already. Um, I have, uh, dual overflows on this one. Um, just because I, on my filter, my sump, I have, a, a this pushes out about 2200 gallons an hour and um, I slowed it down it pushes out anywhere from 1600 to 2000 gallons an hour and it comes back up to this thing right here <clears throat> I run um, with all these fish I run a lot of filters a lot I have a that stump right there I have a C4 I have um, AC110 I have a Fluval 405, another AC 110, and I have um, two Magnum 350s. And um, this one, I have a little bit of everything V house. I have a Snook here, I have a Parapolini, I have a Red Terror or a Feste here. She, I think it's a she because she's been this size for like two months. She doesn't cause any problem. I got three Pierce, um, I got four Red Hook Silver Dollars, I got my Rose Queen here, it's probably my biggest fish in here, I got um, two Red Texas, one Carpentas, and I have one Balloon Texas, I have a Tiger Shovel Nose that eventually has to move um, to a different tank or a pond or probably give them away, and I have two Zanata. Um, I have two Sinspillum. Come on. I got a black belt. I got my favorite, a Bohiteri. Starting to just color up. I don't know if it's a male or female yet, but it's, it's, he or she's looking like a beast. Um, I have two dats. I got this big, bigger one. Um, it's an endo dat, and I got um, identical bars on both sides. Um, endo dat down here. I have an Argentea, Argentea, whatever. Um, I have two of those. I got my Bicker. And please don't tell me my tank's small to hold all this. It is. I know. Um, I'm on the verge of building my uh, 471 gallon tank. I have bought a used tank that's six foot long, three foot tall. And I'm taking the glass apart to build a bigger aquarium. Um, I have this Ragani. I believe it's a Ragani. Um, and I have this random fish. I don't know what it is. Looks like a Viha or whatever he is. Could be a Ragani. Maybe I bought two. I don't know. My Parapolini. Something ate his dorsal fins when he was a young. Uh, a little fry so it never grew back. Um... I got my Playco sits around all day, um, and I got this Finstratus, Finstratus Viha or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry about that. And uh, that's this tank. And this tank is a hundred gallon African tank. There's about uh, there's 74 fish in this one. Um, they've been living together for um, this one. I had a way longer for like. A, a year or something 
but they all been one together. Um, I haven't added any fresh in six to seven months or something like that. But they've been having, they've been multiplying like crazy. Especially these convicts back here. And the convicts haven't killed anything. So, um, that's really good. And I mix a little bit of everything. I know people tell me don't mix the haps and the, the mumbuma and I got some jewelries or I got a little bit of everything but they all been doing great and they're starting to color up well especially this guy right here Vanessa's he's a uh, he's about six seven inches and uh, yellow on top and blue everywhere else and my Livingstone eye it's bluish green um, looks excellent these fish are looking amazing and my 75 gallon sump which I have um, a Midas Red Devil um, I got a separate tank for him uh, a 40 breeder that I'm probably gonna set up and he's probably gonna live there by himself for the rest of his life in the Junipari um, I have a, a shitload of Pontos plant these uh, Devil Ivy they been doing great for my filtration um, all my uh, <coughs> tests has come back like excellent shape um, these are the tests I've done in the last uh, two or three weeks and everything has been coming back pretty much like this this is about every one to two weeks and um, I do a water change about every one to two weeks to keep the um, the water quality in excellent condition and excuse my room it's a little dirty um, I just moved in not too long ago probably like five days ago I haven't decorated anything yet um, I'm trying to give these fish a lot of hiding spots the little ones so they can make it and so uh, they've been doing great and eventually I've got to catch these guys down here out which I don't know how unless I break down the sump and this thing has like six layer of mesh um, somebody told me I shouldn't clean these out um, but I'm probably going to clean most of it out by next week um, got like all your um, bio medias down here bio balls, bio medias um, I did put in like a probably like half a pound of uh, carbon for all this whole entire tank so the room won't stink or no, it smell bad and don't turn the water yellow I have a air purifier or air filter to clean everything out really well and this water stays um, I keep it pretty warm uh, it's 30 degrees Celsius so it's um, about 82 81 degrees but yeah everybody's been doing excellent they're doing great um probably gonna move this tiger shovel nose in about a couple of months because he's growing pretty pretty big quick I try not to feed him as much I feed him um, a variety of different food um, this is NOS pellet that I just put in a different container um, this is extreme the big chunks like the really big one I got staples and bio gold mixed up here I got um well this is the bio gold and I got staples and gold Hakori mixed here um, I got some super worms and uh, regular worms in the fridge but yeah I try to keep this tank in pristine condition they been doing well um, and I try to keep this thing this, these waters moving as much as possible I don't want any stagnant water um, but everybody in this tank they always look hungry but they're they're pretty full and they have lots of babies like I think that one's got babies that one I think has got babies um, they all have babies it's, it's like if I were to sell them I probably can make some money but I don't want to it's too much hassle um, the babies end up getting eaten um, I have I did have a lot of them that survived down here somewhere they're probably hiding and more babies down here but yeah, this will conclude my video. Hope you enjoy my update of me moving 
all these taints in about three days. It's definitely a pain. Um, these guys actually live in my parents' tub for about uh, two or three days. Um, I packaged them all individually in bags. These and I.